Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to go over something really quick today, and it's about drone registration. It's coming up on Monday, February 25th, the FAA's um, interim final law goes into effect. And I believe we have a month to voice our concerns to the FAA, and then on March 25th, it becomes a final, final law. Um, I don't know what an interim final law is, but that's what they're calling it. Um, and that's for our, our drones. So anything over 0.55 pounds up to 55 pounds needs to be registered with the FAA. So my little Mavic Air falls into that category. And I used to have, um, I, I used to have my registration right in the battery compartment. You can't do that anymore. It needs to be visible on the drone itself. So my guess is that you can put it on the arms, but on the Mavic Air, the really only visible spot is on the top of the body, right up in here. Um, or, you know, on the on the back part right here. I, um, I've heard a lot of people voice their concerns over this saying, oh, well, we shouldn't have to register our drones. But there's a lot of bad... There's a lot of bad eggs out there who do a lot of stupid stuff with their drones. And it gives those of us who are recreational or hobbyist pilots a bad name. And um, so I think it's a good thing. You know, if, if your drone is not registered and you lose it, see you later, it's gone. Or if it's registered and you lose it, then they can track you down and, and find you and say, Hey, look, I found your drone, man. Here it is, um, and, get, and get it back to you. It's not, it's not a bad thing. So just so you know, there are there's only one website to go to, and I'll link it. I'll put it right in the description right here, and then I'll link it at the very bottom. Um, it's the FAA website. You need to go to the FAA website. Don't go to Register My Drone or DroneRegistry.com or any of these, these other um, drone registry sites because they'll charge you $10, $15, $25 I've seen. It's $5 to register... Um, as a hobbyist and what that does is it allows you um, to have one FAA registration number for all of your drones so you just take um, your registration number and you affix it to all of your drones if you're flying under part 107 you need to register each drone individually and then each drone will have their own registration number um, the FAA will actually give you this really this this certificate, and it's right here. And you will they'll, uh, you know you print that out. You can laminate it, stick it in your in your drone bag. Um, what I've done is I went to Amazon and I found one site where you can go and actually get uh, a plastic copy of it looks like a driver's license for your federal drone registration, and it will all they'll also send you stickers to put on your drone. I don't have a label maker. I wasn't going to spend the money to, to just put, you know, labels on my drone. I figure they look, I don't know, they look crappy and knowing my luck that they would stick to the, to the, uh, to the drone. I wouldn't get them off. And if I ever would sell my drone, it would look horrible with my, my registration number all stuck up on there. So I got this, this website to print out. I think it's two copies or two, two sets of each uh, of my registration number so I can have a backup in case one of them you know gets blown off in the wind or just gets um, gets worn out and then it comes with a lanyard and again it looks like your driver's license but it has your name on it your FAA number and the date it expires the date you uh, the date you registered and the date it expires so just a really quick video make sure you do it it goes into effect on Monday I don't want to see anybody out there get a fine for flying their drone without a registration number it's just it's stupid. It's a stupid um, uh, reason to get a fine. Go out there, register your drone, do it the right way, and uh, have fun flying. That's all I got to say. Have a great night.